Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So ADA, Cardano, um, no change to the Elliott Wave count. And um, we had a channel here on the chart yesterday. I took the channel out, don't need the channel any longer. Um, what we want to do is just to take a look at the sub waves here of the wave four. Yeah, we're still in the wave four. I think yesterday we were already in the wave four. I warned you it would become a wave four weekend, uh, which is always a bit boring. And um, yeah, but um, that's what you saw, you know, the expected rise in a wave four on the weekend across the market. We saw a little bit of upside, not uh, to uh, our surprise, really. And um, we um, would expect a shortly here move down in a fifth wave if everything is working out as planned. Yeah, exception would be if it starts to break above the wave one low at 37.7 cents because then it breaks into the wave one price range and this would be invalidated as an impulse to the downside. We could then possibly look at the option of it being a, um, a diagonal pattern, but the problem here is that I've got, um, I've got five waves up there in wave one, I've got five waves in wave two, uh, sorry, in wave three. I can't really count it then as a diagonal uh, until, unless I can really make it work on the lower time frames. Um, just seeing it's a wave three anyway. No, it's a C wave. Yeah, it could be an ending diagonal. Um, but you know, uh, at the moment, at the moment we're just hovering below resistance, as you can see here. So, if we say from the top where we completed probably here this larger wave one, that's at least currently an option that's on the table. Of course, it could be something more bearish. This could just be an A wave. This could be a B wave, and we could next be rallying up in a C wave, and then we still have a three wave move and could eventually head back into the bear market. Um, that risk always exists, but there's no way at the moment to really um, see that, okay? So we can only always analyze and trade what we have in front of us. Certainly ADA has done enough in this bear market to complete the correction. Does it mean the correction is over? Mm, no, it doesn't need to be, right? It, uh, it could still carry on after a substantial bear market rally. We had that before, but let's see, you know, we take it level by level. What I find interesting is that ADA has moved up in five waves, certainly. So it could be an A wave, could be a wave one, but that's at the moment secondary. So it certainly moved up, came down as anticipated to the downside of this ascending wedge. Ascending wedges always indicate weakness in the chart. They always indicate weakness in the chart. So we saw that weakness coming. Uh, it took a bit longer, yeah. Ideally, I would have liked it to break down a little earlier, but sometimes they just wait a little bit and it came down. It actually came down from the moment it broke out of the wedge. Um, around about 10%. That's not massive in, in crypto, but it's still quite substantial. Now, I don't think the move down is over yet because I've got a wave A here in five waves. I've got a B wave in three, and I've got a wave C so far only in three waves. And I think we're currently working on a fourth. Um, surely, you know, you could get a WXY pattern here, but um, in a WXY pattern, um, yeah, you would, you would basically, you could say you're finished now because um, you only get three waves. However, the move up currently is typical for a fourth wave and Bitcoin Ethereum also are looking at a fourth wave. So at least one more wave down expected for um, for ADA, which might then eventually not actually not take us into this larger support area. This larger support area is based on the FIPS of the larger wave one. Yeah, if I look at these FIPS um, here between 32.6 and 27.6 cents, so we might actually not get there. It can sometimes be that wave twos only reach the 38.2 FIP level. That would be here at 34.7 cents. So I'd be watching that level for a possible reversal. If we make one more low, which I currently expect, as long as we stay below that um, wave one low, which I indicated to you at, um, just wanna repeat that again. As long as we stay below 37.7 cents, I would expect one more low here. And ideally it would reach 34.7 cents. It is the 38.2 FIP level. Only if we break below that level, I think we have a chance to get to 32.6. And the reason is we have nearly five waves down complete in a C wave. Bitcoin Ethereum also ideally only need one more low, but it all depends on how long will that wave five be. Yeah? Um, you sometimes get extended wave fives. The only rule is that the wave uh, three in this impulse must not be the shortest one, and it wouldn't be. So we could get a wave five extension. But what you would normally expect is that the wave one has basically the same length as the wave um, five. So if we take the length of the wave one and we go to the possible top of the fourth wave, then we talk about 34.4 cents. Now that's a great confluence to the 38.2 FIP level at 34.7 and the previous wave three high here, which might also provide some support and this low 
which might also provide some support. So I would be, yeah, would be watching that area here. I'm actually going to put it on the chart as a support area now, because there we, we would expect some kind of a bounce from here. Yeah. So let's see. Um, and if it breaks below that, then I think we have a deeper correction. And um, you know, have we completed this fourth wave already? So let's take a look. I mean, what I have done, I'm going to take the FIBS out so you can see it a bit better. What I have done, I've labeled this now as a five wave move here in C. So A wave, B wave, C wave. Just highlight that actually. So an A wave up in three waves, a B wave down in three waves. And then here the C wave in a one, two, three, four, and ideally now the fifth wave. Now we might push a little higher, we might have already finished it. Um, if we finished it, it went uh, below the high of the third wave, which is possible sometimes, especially in wedges, which indicate exhaustion. So um, it's, it could still push against the 50% FIB level, which we've got up here, um, off this, just off the small retracement, right? Um, I'm going to show you that the length of the third wave. So as a target for the fourth, Fifty percent FIP level here, so thirty-seven point two cents. Yeah, it could without a problem get there. That's the um, these these are sort of the ideal. That's sort of the ideal resistance for a fourth wave. So ideally, it actually stays below that. So ideally, it stays below that. And then um, again, if it pushes higher, it could still be a fourth wave, but it will get unlikely. And if it then cuts into the wave one price range, which is not too much higher than the resistance area, then we probably have an officially an officially invalidated uh, impulse to the downside, and would need to see what we're doing then certainly then a warning signal to be a bit careful. But for now, I think, um, yeah, it's just moving sideways this stage, not really following through up or down. It's just moving sideways. It's Sunday, you know, um, let's see what we see today. But it looks a bit like that we attempt to break out here to the downside, but it's a bit too early for that. And also trend lines can be drawn in different ways. So, yeah, but um, it looks like we might have this wedge here and yeah, maybe, you know, one more high, but doesn't need one. It, it could just come down from here if it breaks the trend line. And then we're looking at a uh, first target for the wedge is always the beginning of the wedge. We're talking about 35.4 cents and then it could head into support. Okay, that's my update about um, ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. And if you're really interested in um, the content, then also, um, yeah, you can take our trading course on morecryptoonline.com. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're interested in supporting uh, more crypto online you can also delegate your ada to our ada stake pool and you can find the link in the description and you can earn passive ada with your ada okay so thanks a lot and see you in the next video bye, -bye.